Hey, what's up, YouTube? I got a pretty detailed iPod tutorial here today. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys stuff to do when you have your iPod jailbroken. Alright? So, the first thing that you should get when you jailbreak your iPod is a program called Cydia. Alright? There's so many fun things you can do with Cydia. Alright, I showed you guys a couple in my first tutorial. But I'll show you guys some better ones today. Okay. The first one. I know you guys can't see this very well. but Okay. Um, so the first app I like to use is, um, let's go back here to settings. Um, the first thing that I would recommend getting is Winterboard. Um, I don't use it, but, um, yeah, get Winterboard, and you can make themes on your iPod, um, download themes like Megan Fox themes, or do whatever shit you want to do with that. Um, the second thing I'm going to recommend is Android Lock XT. Alright, this is just a little tweak, fun little tweak, alright, fun little tweak here, and it's very fun, because when you lock your screen like so this pops up oh yeah click on it and you have to draw a pattern to get your screen unlocked like so I recommend it it's pretty fun to trick your friends and, uh, and if you want to you can put on a double lock just put on the regular iPod lock now the second app I'm gonna recommend is Installius um, Installius is a very good app um, one of my favorites, um, because it lets you download free apps, okay? Now, I don't know much about it. I just knew that me and my friend, when we jailbroke our iPods a while ago, that, um, basically, you download free apps. He was looking for free apps, and so was I, so we found it, and it's got all the apps that the App Store has and all that shit, so you are in good condition if you're trying to get apps. Um, basically it's just got all these apps. It's pretty fun. So, when you guys get a chance, just download that. It's pretty awesome. Okay. So, the next app that we are going to use is probably my favorite app. It is, uh, Voice Activator. Alright, I don't use it that much, but it's, it's honestly my favorite because... Basically, um, I don't have much use of it, but it's my favorite app because I have a couple settings on here. But it's, it's honestly my favorite app because when you click the voice stuff, the voice control, uh, it's not going to work with a joke group. No, it's not going to work for some reason, but it's one of my favorite just because of that. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to zoom in here. Because I like it at this distance. Okay. And there is honestly one more thing that I'm going to show you guys, and that is SB settings. SB settings is awesome because all you do is you just swipe on the top of the screen. Top of the screen, you get all these settings. I know you can't see all those, but. Get all these settings, and it's my IP address, Wi-Fi IP address. So shows you all this stuff, and it's pretty freaking awesome because you can control brightness, brightness. I have mine usually pretty low, but you can control your brightness on your location services, Bluetooth, um. Data. What is data? I don't know. There you go. You can choose a lot of stuff with that. Uh, if you click more, you can get the battery percentage up here. You can get um, this data right there. The data right there. And, um, yeah. It's pretty awesome. And, um, 
I recommend it. And those are just some very beginner tweaks and apps that you can use. Um, and just to get started with your jailbreak. And if you have been jailbreaking for a while like me, um, you should already know by now a lot about jailbreaks and you should need this video, but this video is aimed to, to noobs, I guess you should say. But to noobs, to jailbreaking. <laughs> kind of noob friendly. So, that's my video for y'all today and I uh, hope y'all enjoyed. And comment, rate, subscribe.